All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to another Art Talk. So today I just wanted to talk about some mistakes that I made earlier on in my career, getting started as an artist, just things that you just don't know that you learn along the way. I just have written five that just popped in my head this morning. I'm sure there's a bunch more, and I hope that um, I'll be able to share with those with you at, at some point as well. Um, and there's in no specific order. I was just sort of making a list, but these are the things that we, we go through. We, we, we're going to I almost feel like we have to make mistakes, that we have to make failures in order to learn from them by having these failures and mistakes and these things that affect us. And all of a sudden we realize, God, that was that was such a bad move. Or, you know, you're so upset about something that you did. Well, that's the awakening. That's the okay you can either choose to keep making the same mistakes and just keep doing it over and over. Hopefully you don't do that. Otherwise you go, what do I need to do differently? I don't want to be in that situation anymore. And I prefer that. I, I don't want to be in those situations anymore. Do I make mistakes? Absolutely. Uh, do you make mistakes? You should. We're, we're all human, right? So mistakes are just part of the process. It's just a matter of are you learning from those mistakes? And one of those mistakes that I made up front was not asking for a deposit up front. Just when I'm working with a new client, all of a sudden I would get very excited and, and you would just always give the benefit of the doubt that this person is trustworthy, this person is uh, a business, they're maybe reputable, maybe they have a name for themselves, who knows, there, there are a lot of different factors, maybe they don't. Um, and I realized that I just trusted that they were just going to pay. And later would find out, oh my God, they didn't pay me. They said they were going to pay me and they sort of denied me. Something happened. So one of the most important things that you have to do is make sure that you get a deposit up front with any any new client, anyone that you're working with. Just get that deposit up front. Try to get 50% if you can. Uh, that's what I'll always aim for. And at times when I ask for that, uh, you might not hear back from them. And that just happened to me recently, as a matter of fact. I wanted 50% up front and all of a sudden, never heard from them again. Oh, surprise, surprise. So there, there you go. You just start to really find that some people, they're just not legit and maybe weren't going to pay you anyway. So that's something to think about. And also, just do your due diligence. Make sure that you're researching them online. If anyone you get contacted with, you've never heard of them before, just Google search them. See if there's been any uh, bad comments written about them. See if there's a, um, just if they even exist, if they're even a company, like what are they? Because sometimes people make these claims and they're really not who they say they are. So just really make sure that you uh, keep that in mind. All right. Uh, number two, uh, this was where I avoided learning how to really construct forms. I didn't pay attention to construction. I should, I was always jumping ahead because it was fun. I wanted to get to the meat and potatoes of it. I wanted just to get to the final product. I wanted to just thought that I could do just a better job just by going straight at it without even thinking or learning about how to really construct and slowing it down in that area. I'm really paying attention. And that's such a vital process and part to your growth that if you're not realizing it now and you're one of those artists that keeps jumping ahead too much just trying to but you know do things that you're not even ready for yet you're going to find you're going to hit a lot of walls you're going to hit the frustration wall you're going to be not always satisfied with your artwork it's going to take a lot longer but when you realize my god i just got to really slow this down i really got to learn how to construct i really got to learn about my forms i really got to learn about these things putting these pieces of the puzzle together will make my drawings that much better that's what we got to aim for and that's what we got to really pay attention to so that was another thing that I did was by avoiding that and I, I shouldn't have and luckily I, I came to my senses and realized how important it was and started to really develop that so that's something else um 
the next thing, let me see. Um, I undercharged when I knew I was worth more. I just felt, uh, you know, got scared, got nervous about how much to charge. So I ended up just undercharging and then people would be like, okay, fine, that's good. And do it and realize, man, they got so much more for, from me than what I did. That, you know, I deserve more for what I did for them and what they're benefiting from it now. Maybe they ended up using it for something that they ended up benefiting more and charging more and everything. And just that mindset of just that, well, being nervous and scared that I'm charging too much. And sometimes that can happen. But if it's a decent client, they'll negotiate and they'll say, you know what? That's not in our budget. Can we do something like this instead? If they really want you, they're going to do something like that. So be prepared for that negotiation it's going to be a very important thing. Um, number four was I would avoid just drawing hands, drawing feet, drawing the things that were difficult for me to do because it was just easier to shove a hand in the pocket behind the back and, and, and not pay attention to it because it was difficult. And that's where I found that just trying to avoid difficult situations in your life is not the right approach to life in, in general. I think you got to face things head on and any sort of difficulties. And it's not just about drawing hands. It's about doing anything that don't be let, don't be afraid of that and avoid things just because they're difficult. You're going to have difficult conversations. You're going to be thrown into difficult situations. And the more you just sort of like step up and just embrace it and go through it head on, well, that's how battles are won. You know, that's how victories are won. And that's for yourself. If you want more victories in your life to happen, well, then you got to be willing just to just plug through and just go through those situations which are going to be difficult and don't avoid them just because they are. That makes a big difference within your life. Uh, the next thing, the last thing here, number five, was um, I cared too much about other people's perception of me. I used to worry about that. I used to care what other people would th think or what other people would say if they felt that, you know, may maybe they didn't think that I was uh, a good artist or maybe they felt that uh, I got opportunities that I didn't deserve or may whatever it is. I just, I just don't care it doesn't matter you know it's just because you realize that people don't say the stuff necessarily to your face and the ones that did well you take it or leave it and decide if you want to listen to them or not and pay attention to them or not if their opinion is valid if they're worth worth it if they if, if they're not even an artist and they're trying to tell me of all these things that, um, you know, maybe aren't even art related just about myself or maybe art related, but I don't value their opinion. Why am I going to ever listen to someone whose opinion I don't even value or someone that I don't even know? It's like, who are they? Who are you? I, I, it just doesn't matter. So you start to weed that out and you cut it out of your mind and there you start to free up your mind even more. So that's the idea. We just want to free up our mind as much as possible. We're always going to get in our head about things. It's up to us to try to grab onto it and pay attention to that voice uh, that's going on in our head and control that voice in our head and pay attention to it and start to decide if we're going to let that voice or these outside sources affect us or we just simply are not going to let that happen. It's your choice, but it's again, something you got to work on. It doesn't just happen overnight, but something to uh, really take into consideration. All right. With that said, that's it. Make it a great week. Keep up your studying, keep up your program, keep up those short lessons. You know, it's going to be very important as you're going through on the Silver Drawing Academy and working through this. Just the more you stick with it, the more you just get engaged in it, the more benefits you're going to have as an outcome. And that's what we're searching for, just better results. All right. So make it a great week and I'll talk to you next week. Take care.